Welcome to the Rig and Farm YouTube channel. This vlog is going to be a little different than usual because we had so much work to do this day and didn't have time to stop and talk to the camera, so I figured I'd do a voiceover instead. We got the first of three trucks of soil delivered moments before we arrived that day. The dump truck was leaving our property as we were pulling in. The garden area needed to be cleaned up before we could even begin to move the soil up there. First thing we needed to do was get the grapple onto the tractor and get these tree stumps out of the holes. The first one wasn't much of a problem. These stumps are such an irregular shape that it can be a little tricky to get a good grip on them with the grapple in order to move it. A little finessing and I finally got it. The second stump we needed to move was so heavy that the tractor couldn't even lift it. We did what we do best and improvised. The chainsaw allowed us to get the stump and a few smaller pieces and get it out of there. I was able to use the open grapple like a rake and pull it out rather than gripping it. Once it was out of the hole, I was able to grab onto it and move it over to that stump pile. I had to go back for the smaller pieces before moving to the next step. We didn't get video of it, but the next thing we did was use a combination of the bucket and box blade to fill the holes and smooth things out a little. We posted that process in another video, so definitely check it out if you haven't already. It was finally time to hook up our tiller and add some gear oil. We tilled the entire garden area before we moved any of the soil onto the beds. Only two of the three deliveries had been dropped off at this point. It was pretty easy to get a big scoop of the soil with a bucket on the tractor. It sure beats moving it one shovel full at a time into a wheelbarrow and then walking it uphill into that garden bed. There's a very successful flower farm that recommended having one person drive their tractor backwards while the other used a rake or a pitchfork to spread out the soil evenly onto the ground. There had to be a better way than that. Time for another bucket full of soil to bring up to the garden. I wanted to try dumping it straight from the bucket, and that seemed to do almost as good of a job without the extra set of hands. I tilled the soil into the existing dirt once I had spread out enough to cover the entire length of the garden bed.
While we were busy working on our future garden, the construction team was busy digging a hole for our septic tank and digging trenches for the field lines. Special delivery! We didn't have time to stop what we were doing to go down and film the process, but we did get a little video before heading home for the evening. They also put in some rebar to mark the four corners of our home and also marked where they'd be installing the footers for the foundation. Our home will be 76 feet long by 32 feet wide with a total of 2,280 square feet of living space. The video footage today doesn't do it justice, but it was a very long and hard day. We dropped the kids off at school, went to the farm, left to get the kids from school, and went back up there to get more done. We left the house at 7.30 in the morning and didn't get home until almost 10 at night. Almost five hours of our day was spent commuting back and forth, but we do what we have to while working on this farm. We'll be living there soon and we'll be able to cut out the two and a half hour round trip commute every time we need to get some work done. It is very hard work, but it's also very rewarding to work towards your dream. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel if you don't already. There will be much more content uploaded as we continue to make progress on our farm. See you next time!